Hi guys, Brayden Scarl, I am back with another video, the second of today, I'm releasing two in one day. Ooh. Yeah, mad isn't it? Once again, joined by Thomas. Ooh. And we're going to be running through our predictions for SummerSlam. The match card does look pretty decent for this. You've got, you've got, to, you've got to admit that, it looks like a decent match card. It does, boys, from WWE booking. Yeah, WWE bookings made its mistakes over the years, but I feel like they could probably get it right for this one. Let, let's just go straight on to the predictions. With the first set of predictions, um, these matches aren't confirmed, but it's likely that these are going to be happening. They've kind of built towards them. So yeah, we'll go, we're going to go with these ones. Uh, if they don't happen, then they obviously don't count towards predictions. First match is more than likely going to happen. is Bobby boring largely against Elias. Pretty straightforward with this one. Bobby Lashley is going to win, unfortunately. I'd love to see Elias pick up a win on this one. Because, well, it's Elias. He needs these wins because, unfortunately, he's getting pushed down. Even though everyone loves him. Like, it, it, even if he targets the crowd, people still cheer for him. He's fucking brilliant. Unfortunately, the big, bad Bobby Lashley is going to win this. I'm saying the same. Big, boring... Bobby, boring, wisely. You really hate the guy, don't you? Yep. Next match is the Boss and Hug Connection, Bailey and Sasha, against the Riot Squad. Now, this one looks like it's been building up, but it's not exactly going to be anything new. We've kind of already been watching it week after week. And the whole storyline between Sasha and Bailey has been stupid. They didn't even have a proper implosion. I mean, we could still see an implosion. We could still see them turn on each other. That's not going to happen. But, yeah, it's been disappointing, to be honest. But in this one, yeah, I'm going to take Boss and Hulk in connection, because, well, I love Bailey and Sasha, and I just want to see them pick up the victory, even though the right squad are fucking amazing. I do not give a shit about this match. I really don't. Yeah, but you got to make a prediction. Um, I'm saying the right squad. This is literally just to go against me. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Just, just put Bailey up against Sasha, please. Jesus fucking Christ. These are the kickoff. Well, this is for the kickoff show. Rusev and Lana against Andred, Andrade Cien Almas and Selena Vega. Where have you got? And why? Uh, I'm, I'm going to say that Andrade and Selena are going to pick up this victory. And it's going to be because of something that Aiden English does. And maybe they're going to kick off like the. Aiden English Rusev rivalry. I'm saying Rusev and Lana are gonna win. Just give them the win finally. Just just give them that win and then Aiden English are gonna come out, try and celebrate with them, and then they're gonna uh, Rusev and Lana are gonna get twatted because of Aiden English and then that's gonna settle that feud. Well either way we all we, we know it's gonna lead to a feud between them two. Next match, uh, it's yet again being put on the kickoff job. But these matches have proven to be main show worthy. Yeah. Uh, and this is the 205 Live Cruiserweight Championship match. And it's Cedric Alexander against Drew Gulak. Both amazing competitors. But yeah, yet again, it's on the kickoff show. We're just pushing the Cruiserweight done. Don't get me wrong, it's like hard to say who you would put on the kickoff show. But I just think it's kind of crap that it's always the fucking. Cruiserweights. No. So who have you got? I'm going to be sticking with Cedric Alexander on this. Cedric Alexander is my favourite Cruiserweight. I'm not even going to lie about that. Cedric Alexander is fucking fantastic. Drew Gulak, he's brilliant in his own right. Like, I'm not I'm not questioning how good he is. But I love Cedric Alexander. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm saying the same. You, you guys have made every point that, it, that you can make. So, Cedric Alexander picking up the victory. On to the main show. But, and I, I don't know why this is still going on. It's Ben Balor against Baron Corbin. I like this feud. No, like, I like it, but I just feel like at the last pay per view, they didn't put on a match that was worthy of them both. But then, on the following Raw, they put on a fucking amazing match against each other. I'm hoping for a better match on this pay-per-view because those two can put on a fucking brilliant match up together. 
but for the victory, it's going to be Balor, isn't it? No, Balor needs that push towards the title picture again. Yeah. Because as I've said in the past, and as I'll keep fucking saying, they need to give him the rematch. Yeah, they, they do. They deserves. So we're both going Balor on that one. Yep. So now we move on to a match that I've probably been looking forward to the most. Um, this is Daniel Bryan against The Miz. Both competitors are fucking amazing. And they prove each and every time why they deserve to be where they are. It's hard to pick who I would, who I want to win this. Do you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the Miz on this one. I know it looks obvious that Daniel Bryan's gonna walk away with a victory, but I'm gonna say the Miz is gonna pick up this victory and push forward, and we're gonna see a continuous rivalry. At least I hope for this. I don't want to see one and done. I've got the same person. I've got the Miz on this. But the fact that every time the Miz and Daniel Bryan have met in the past, Daniel Bryan's always came up on top. So Daniel Bryan's always got that bragging point. And then if Miz beats him at SummerSlam, the biggest match that they've ever had, Miz has got Miz has got all the bragging rights then. And then that that will hopefully set up a match. At either Survivor Series or Royal Rumble. The next match that we're going to talk about is the Money in the Briefcase match, which is Braun Strowman against Kevin Owens. The stipulation for this match is if Braun Strowman loses in any way, that means count out, disqualification, anything like that, Kevin Owens will win the briefcase. Who have you got? I'm going to say that they're going to play off that. And I'm going to say that Kevin Owens is going to take the victory here. I'm going to call Count Out. I'm kind of going the same way. But I am going to say uh, Braun Strowman is going to lose just to the disqualification. Because I'm going to say there's going to be a return. Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn returns. Swats Kevin Owens. Which gives Kevin Owens the victory over the EQ. And then he's got the briefcase. I don't see that happening because of my prediction for later on, but we'll get to that. Next up, we've got Shinsuke Nakamura against Jeff Hardy for the United States Championship. Who have you got and why? I'm taking Shinsuke in this. Hmm? Shinsuke just it, it needs the longer run. Even though it would be brilliant, right, for Jeff Hardy to win it and then set up that with Randy Orton. Good, with Randy Orton. He'll Randy for the title. But I don't, I don't think that's going to happen. I think they're going to have Shinsuke run with the title, but the title a bit longer, mm-hmm. and then relinquish it. Run about Survivor Series. Good show. Uh, I'm going a little bit of a different route on this. I'm going to say the winner of the match is going to be Jeff Hardy. But he's not walking away with the championship. I'm going to say that he's going to get attacked by Randy Orton during the match. Next up, we have the SmackDown Tag Team Championship, which is the Bludgeon Brothers against the Beauty. Who have you got in this, bro? Uh, for me, it seems like I'm going a lot of disqualifications here, but this time I'm calling no contest. I'm going to say that Sanity are going to come out and wipe out everyone uh, and set up a feud between Sanity and the Bludgeon Brothers for the titles. I'm saying the new day are walking away. For the titles to the dub. The six time tag team champions. You can still have the Bludgeon Brothers good with Sanity. Mm-hmm. But for their title. So the next match that we've got is for the Raw Tag Team Championships, and this is the B Team versus the Revival. Who have you got in this and why? I've got the Revival, and I'm just saying that they've been in the main roster for long enough. And they've not had the titles yet, which is which is just astounding. So they need they need the titles. Don't don't take anything away from uh, B team because they've just been on an incredible roll at the moment. They're brilliant on the mic. You can you can just about see this lovable side to bait for them, which you have not seen in the WWE yet. They're just they're just they're just bug brilliant on the WWE. Well, I'm gonna go with the B team. Literally because I don't think they're going to kick the legs out of the B-team just yet. 
I think they're going to push on a bit longer with this whole, oh, we can't be beaten, we're undefeated. I feel like they're going to push on with that for a long time. So, next up, we have the Intercontinental Championship match, which is Dolph Ziggler defending against Seth Rollins. Before uh, I ask you who your prediction is going to be, I just want to say it's going to be an absolutely incredible match. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Who's your prediction to win this? I'm going to take... Dolph in this one because I'm saying Dean Ambrose is turning on Seth. You've you've seen the new look. That look, his new look is fucking amazing and it fits a heel so well. I'm saying Dolph Ziggler is going to win, right? But not just because of that. I reckon it's going to be a double turn. Dean is going to turn on Seth and Dolph is going to turn on Drew. Next match that we've got is Alexa Bliss versus Ronda Rousey for the Raw Women's Championship. I love Ronda Rousey, like, don't get me wrong, she's been brilliant so far, but she's been in the title picture twice now, as we said, with four matches under her belt. Don't get me wrong, I want to see her hold the championship, but not with just four matches under her belt. She should have had more matches on Raw. I think we all know that Ronda Rousey's walking away with a victory on this. I would absolutely love Alexa Bliss to walk away with a victory on this. It'd just be fucking amazing and it'd boost Alexa Bliss so much to get a win over Ronda Rousey. I'm saying Alexa Bliss because you know how she's double jointed mm. and she's already used her um, mm. you know, That was fucking great. She could use it against Ronda Rousey. Be like, oh, you broke my arm, you broke my arm. With an uh, arm bar, right? Mm. And then she gets off, pops it back in the place for a roll up, one, two, three, done. The next match is a SmackDown Women's Championship match, and it is Carmella defending against Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch in a triple threat match. I'm going to say Carmella's winning here because the feud between Becky and Charlotte, that, that's going to culminate at some point in a one-on-one match. You know, with them two feuding, them two fighting in the ring, Carmel will come in, get a cheap victory, walk away some, walk away for SummerSlam as the champion. I'm calling SummerSlam the night of the heel turns. I'm going to say that Charlotte's walking away with a victory on this, and we're going to see a heel turn from Becky. I think Becky is going to get pissed off that she should have been the only one in this match. Charlotte picking up the victory is the last straw. Because I'm orange. Becky's just going to snap and attack Charlotte, kicking the fuck out of her, and it's going to set up a huge rivalry between the two. Next, we have the match that I'm looking forward to the most from SummerSlam. The, the match that should be main event in SummerSlam. AJ Styles against Samoa Joe. I'm saying match of the night is going to be between this or uh, Seth versus Dolph. Um, this match is going to be contender for match of the year. Yeah, I'm expecting great things from this match. For the winner, I'm going to say moving forward it's going to be AJ Styles. I just feel like they're going to keep him champion and wipe out Brock's championship reign once. You know, he's gone. I'm saying Joe. Taking Joe on this one. Joe when he's like this, as this heel, I don't see anybody better than him at the moment in WWE. Apart from Seth Rollins, I don't see anybody better than him. Hmm. Now we move on to the main event. <laughs> and this is Brock Lesnar against Boom and Reigns Ooh. for the Universal Championship. I, I, I like Roman Reigns now. I like Roman Reigns now. I don't want to play Fox. I just feel like the reason we all hate him so much is because he's John Cena to play Fox. Yeah, it's because the they the company have tried branding him as John Cena 2.0. When well, the truth is, he is brilliant in the ring. Brock's walking away with a victory on this. He's going to be celebrating with Paul Heyman. Then Kevin Owens is going to come out just in time. For Paul Heyman to turn on Brock and align himself with Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens will be the new Universal Champion. My prediction is Roman Reigns is going to win the match, mm-hmm. become the new Universal Champion. 
and then Braun Strowman is going to come out. Way waste to pay for them. And then Kevin Owens is going to come out, pick up the scraps, pick up the championship, and then that'll set up a feud. I, whoa, whoa, I whoa, bet. Whoa. No. Why? No, that'll set up a better feud for the championship between Kevin Owens and Braun Strowman, with Braun Strowman walking away with the championship. But because, because, right, uh, Braun Strowman can turn around and say to uh, Kevin Owens that you, you, you wouldn't have been able to cash in that money by briefly if it, if it wasn't for me. You know, You're missing out on one me. massive part. What? If Kevin Owens has got the briefcase, why is Braun Strowman coming out at all? Because he's angry. And, and, he, and he, he says, you know, well, I, I deserve to be in this match more than anybody else. Okay, you can take all that, but I, I'm, I'm calling crap on your prediction there. So there you go, there's our predictions for SummerSlam. Uh, again, like with the last video, there's going to be another forfeit. Uh, do you want to tell them what the forfeit is? The milk challenge. The milk challenge. So we're literally going to have a carton of milk that we have to down as quick as we can. We hope you did like this video, and if you did like it, give it a like. Comment down below but what you think is going to be the match of the night. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you can always stay up to date on my content. And yeah, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.